Hey, 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 how's it going, do it yourselfers? Today we're gonna find out how much you can improve your gas mileage by replacing your spark plugs. And we're gonna run this test on my friend's 2013 Hyundai Elantra. That's got 101,347 miles on the clock. And I'm positive these are original plugs in this engine because I got this car from my friend six years ago with about 20,000 miles on it. And I've already had my friend measure the MPG on this engine the good old fashioned way, as in I had him uh, go fill up the tank, write down the mileage and reset the trip meter and go from there until the gas is nearly empty, fill it back up, then uh, write down the trip meter, divide that by the gallons it took to fill the car back up and then get the gas mileage. And the MPG is currently getting with these old plugs is an average of 23.33 miles to the gallon over four tankfuls. So yeah, today we're gonna replace these old plugs with some NGK Iridium IX spoke plugs. And then again, we'll fill up our tank, write down the mileage, or reset the trip meter, and measure our MPG again, and see how much exactly can you improve your MPG by replacing your spark plug. Now it goes without saying, if you're replacing a fairly new spark plugs, let's say your spark plugs that are 20,000, 30,000 miles old, with the same exact plugs, you're not gonna notice much of an improvement. That is, if that engine, didn't have issues. But if you're replacing older spark plugs like this that are 100,000 miles old, old or replacing spark plugs that are near their you know, maintenance interval, then obviously you're gonna notice an improvement even though your engine, like in this case, is not having any issues. We don't have a misfire on this engine. There's no other check engine lights or whatever, but we're just replacing these spark plugs because it's time. At the same time, we're gonna do this test to see how much exactly you improve your MPG because it's, if it's what I think it's going to be, it makes it a lot more, let's say, economical to replace your old plugs since you're going to save that money that you spent replacing the spark plugs in no time. All right, let's get to it. First, the engine cover. It should. Oh! Yeah, I haven't been working on cars lately. I'm a bit rusty. Then we'll remove our ignition coils, which are held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. There's one, and it's dry. That's always good to see. Number two, number three, and number four. Next, we'll grab our 5 8 spark plug socket and start taking these out. You can just also use a regular 5 8 long socket and then use a magnet to grab these and get them out of these holes. But of course, if you have a spark plug socket, it makes life a lot easier. That's because they come with a little rubber boot that grabs onto the spark plug. So here's a look at the Solner 1 spark plug. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, you might want to put just a dab of engine oil on the threads. We'll grab our new spark plug, put it in our spark plug socket, make sure it doesn't fall out. Then gently lower this. You always want to start them off by hand just to make sure you're not cross-threading them. And then you torque them down to about 12 or so foot-pounds. Actually, one thing I'm going to do is save these old spark plugs, put them in the box of the new ones, put down the cylinder number so I know exactly which one goes where, and that way we can run another test, which is to see how much you can improve your MPG if you replace your pre-cat oxygen sensor. So yeah, first we'll run this test and see how much we improve our MPG by only replacing the spark plugs. Then I might put the old ones back in and just replace the pre-cat O2 sensor and see how much you can improve your MPG just by replacing the pre-cat O2 sensor. But for now, we need to finish up replacing these old plugs. Spark plug number two also looks okay. Here's spark plug number three. And here's a look at spark plug number four. Now all these spark plugs that we just pulled out looked a lot better <laughs> than I expected, but we we'll shall see. Still think we're gonna get a decent amount of improvement when it comes to the MPG. All right, next we'll reinstall our ignition coils and we'll get our engine cover back on here. There we go, that's it. I still have all my digits. Aren't we special? Alrighty, now let's go fill up the tank. Alright, so we just filled up our tank. Now we record our mileage, which is 101,348 miles. And we're back, folks. So it's been about 10 days since we uh, replaced the spark plugs. 
I give the car back to my friend. He's been driving it around and he's emptied and refilled the gas tank twice. And he's ran down the mileage and here are the results. All right, so the first trip he drove 286 miles before he had to fill up and then it took 10.64 gallons to fill up the tank, which averages to 26.87 miles per gallon. Now for the second trip, he drove 293.4 miles and it took 11.65 gallons to fill up the tank, which came out to 25.18 miles per gallon. Now you average those two trips together, you get 26.02 MPGs. Now if you were to compare this to the MPG we had before we replaced the spark plugs, which was 23.33, uh, we've made an improvement of 2.7 MPGs. As a percentage, that comes out to about 11.5% uh, improvement. Now let's just round that down to 10%. Let's say that's how much uh, we've improved. So in other words, if uh, let's say again, a round number, you spend 200 bucks at the pump each month and you're gonna improve that or uh, you know, get, uh, spend 10% less, that comes out to 20 bucks uh, in savings each month and let's say again uh, these again these spark plugs were about 11 bucks each 11 12 bucks let's say it costs 50 dollars for the parts and labor of course i put in myself so at 50 bucks it would take you two and a half months at 200 dollars for gas per month to pay for these spark plugs now of course you don't replace the spark plugs just to get the better mpg and make sure that <laughs> you, you can recuperate the money uh, in a specific period of time, but you know, replacing your spark plugs, you know, you don't develop misfires, uh, you know, then you, which would send you to the mechanic shop if, you're, if you don't get to uh, diagnose it properly. Uh, and, or worse, uh, misfire would mean basically hydrocarbons going through your exhaust system, damaging your Kelly con converter potentially, which would then lead to, uh, to a huge uh, expense. So doing this is pretty much a no-brainer, especially after these many miles that we have had on this car. And I'm gonna assume that on 90 plus percent of the cars, even if you're not at the interval of the, the maintenance interval for the spark plug, if you replace it, let's say within 10,000 miles, you'll make a, an improvement enough where it would uh, pay for itself plus. Now next, I'm gonna probably put the old spark plugs back in and replace the pre-cat oxygen sensor and see how much that improves MPG. That's something I've always wondered, well, not wondered, I, I'm sure it will improve MPG, but will it be enough to offset the cost of the oxygen sensor? Because sometimes, depending on your car's make and model, oxygen sensors can, uh, you know, if you put the good one, the OE quality or the OE one, uh, the cost can be higher than replacing the spark plugs, plus oxygen sensors are not really a maintenance item, you know, you don't replace them uh, unless they go bad, pretty much. So yeah, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and stay tuned for that video. But until then, if you wanna help me out, check out my other videos. I'll put links to them on the screen. You can uh, click and watch them in the suggestion box. That will help as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.